One friendly remaining. Oh, he's not bad, he's in closet. One's in closet, Tim. Coming 90, coming 90, here. Three smokes. Op 4, last that? operator standing. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, what's going on guys, Simsy here, and today we're going to be going over Villa in our Smoke series. So I just want to say before we get started that 78% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. So we are getting close to 2k. If you guys are watching these videos and you enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button for future videos. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so starting out on Aviator and Games, we're going to go over the rotations that are seen at higher levels, just the, some of the common rotates that you should be making as a smoke player. So the first one is this rotate right here. You can either have a crouch hole or a run hole, um, but this is just going to be between sites, between the two vault doors, just so that you can go in and out of the site um, without having to go through vault to kind of rotate between. Then we have your line of sight right here, and this can be a vaultable hole as well. I typically make it a vaultable hole just in case, just to have an extra you know, rotate between the two sites. But this is pretty much meant for a team that does a back take. If they do like the master push and you want to smoke, you pretty much can sit behind the bar pretty safely and you could get your smokes over towards the other side of the objective just to kind of like slow down the plan or slow down the push or anything like that. And then our third rotate is common at the higher levels for people that like to play top of the main stairs with either smoke or other operators. But typically you would make a rotate right here. You would put your shield on the top main stairs in one of three spots. Typically this is one spot. You have another one that's back here right on this arch. And then people do also like to put it on the top of the main stairs right on this half wall. So it really depends on where you like to place a shield. But what this rotate is intended for is you're supposed to pocket a reinforcement. And if a team does a study take, you keep the shield here. You have some ADSs. You have some barb on the bottom of your, your main stairs. And then you waste as much time as you can here. Waste some utilities, shoot some drones, and then you back up into sight and you reinforce this wall off. So that is another common thing. If you guys don't like to do something like this, then of course, you know, just reinforce the, both of these walls off. It's really not that big of a deal. But that's going to be the main setup for the smoke. So when it comes to the attackers pushing the objective, they either push the study side and the bottom main stairs, or they do a master take. So for a team that does a study take, like I was showing, this is a really good setup to have just because you waste a lot of time, you waste utility, you shoot some drones, and you give it up. So basically, you're wasting all that time, but then they never actually get the kill on you. So whenever you feel like you're getting pressured heavily and you think you're in a position where you're going to die, that's usually when you're supposed to be giving it up. Or if they pop your shield, that's typically when you want to want to give this up because the whole point of you doing that is just to stay alive but waste as much utility and time as you can. So that's typical for the study take. And whenever you actually give up that top main stairs and they start getting study control, Typically, they like to either breach this bar wall or for like a full rotate. So they have like a Havana, Crouch Hole, or an Ace, or, or a Thermite, or something like that. And their whole goal is to either plant behind this bar. And the other side is they would open up this vault wall with either Habana, Ace, or Thermite. And what they would do is they would get the plant for maps. So depending on what the attackers do, if they do a study take, typically what I would like to do is I would position myself inside a vault because in this position, I can smoke a breach. If they open up that wall, I could smoke it freely. I could also smoke behind the bar from here. I could smoke the game's door as well as through this rotate hole, you can actually smoke the other aviator door to study. So this is a pretty good spot to play as a smoke player. You want to kind of be careful of where you're you're positioning yourself and this is a good position just because you're pretty much exposing yourself to one angle at a time if you want to smoke this door you're only exposing yourself to that door if you want to smoke the breach you're only exposing yourself to the one breach and then if you're smoking the doorway you're only exposing yourself to the door so it's a really good spot because you have a lot of cover but you're also able to smoke every single angle in the site that's necessary for whatever sort of push they do so talking about the next attack, we have a master take. So typically they would push master, they try to get 90 control, they possibly open up the vault wall. Um, they also push the aviator door and they try to get a plant either on the vault door or behind the maps, or sometimes they try to get a little bit deeper into site, but those are the two most common plants. And for a master take, typically I still would set this up like at the beginning of the round anyways, just in case they do a study take. But if it's a team that does a master take, then you want to move the shield over to a better spot inside of 90 hall here. And what this allows you to do is you still want to have this rotate because you could actually use that shield as cover. You can smoke 90 if necessary, if that's something you want to do. 
And then you also are immediately right next to the bar and you could still get your smokes over towards the aviator door. And this is pretty much the positioning I play when I use smoke in this situation because this is pretty much the best spot. You have every angle covered. Typically, if they open up vault, you can also smoke the vault if necessary. But their main entry points are pressuring 90, potentially pressuring vault through the vault wall, as well as pushing the aviator door from the backside of uh, top red. So you could smoke all of the plants here. And a lot of the time you have one straggler, maybe two stragglers that push study just to have pressure and study because study control for the defensive side when they're doing a master take is very, very important and it's very, very strong. So they want to kind of put the pressure onto the defenders and try to get control of study. So typically you want to worry about study as well, which just having a teammate near near top main or something like that, just to kind of watch your back is more than you, enough uh, control that you need and, and more than enough help that you need. So this is going to be the main position when it comes to playing smoke on this site for a master take. So we're going to move on to the next objective. Okay, so moving on to statue and trophy, the first rotate that you're going to make is going to be into Astro and from Deer, so that you have a rotate between these two, these two rooms right here. And typically, what you want to do is I would place my shield inside of Split right here, which is just between you know the two doors going to Trophy and to and to Deer. And what this does is whenever the attacking team opens up this wall you're going to have some sort of coverage behind the shield. So if they get the wall open, you still can crouch back here. You can throw smokes. You can kind of peek it if you want to. And it's just a really good shield to have because it gives you a lot of cover. You can rotate inside and outside of Astro pretty easily, especially if you're going through this rotate hole. You have all that cover. You can rotate into Astro pretty safely. So besides that, that's going to be your main rotate. There's not much to do on this site. A lot of the time you do want to open up above the wall just so that your teammates can impact trick if possible. So that's another thing that you could do. And typically from that point on, um, that's about it. That's that's kind of your setup in this objective. You want to you wanna kind of play uh, float, you want to float around on this site just because there's a lot of things to cover. And, you know, sometimes you want to make some line of sight to the bottom of the Astro stairs just so that you can, you know, you can see them as they come up. Or if they're on the basement of the Astro stairs right here, you can kind of help out from the objective. But you're pretty much floating around. You're going to go to whatever side of the... Uh, the push that people are doing so typically with this objective they do a master take or they do a um, study side take they, they take that whole side of the map and they push on the south side of the map so what you could do from that situation is if there is a team doing a master push it's pretty easy to get the smokes over towards this brick store you could throw it over i don't have any smokes on me but you could throw it over this metal box right here you can prone really safely and you could throw a smoke from here over to the brick side of master door and I'm calling it bricks because that's a hard surface and, and it's typically just called bricks. This is why people plant here because you actually can't get nitrate from underneath. But those are some really good common smoke spots. There's a nice angle you can get right here. Although this is an angle that you don't necessarily always want to challenge. But again, this is another angle you could actually smoke from if you want to smoke that doorway there. And the second push I was talking about is a study take, a full south side clear. And typically, they would try to plant on the statue. And one good thing with the same angle is if you position yourself around this area you have this huge pillar right here that covers your line of sight to the board door and you could actually get smokes from here onto the statue side it actually lands right next to the statue right here and it spreads all the way to this corner whenever they're trying to get the plant down so that's pretty much the setup whenever it comes to playing smoke like i said you kind of float around it really depends on what the attackers are doing but you want to position yourself in the best spot to smoke so typically smoking from here is pretty good for both you can actually smoke board you can smoke uh, like everything from this angle it's, it's just really really good and again it's kind of an angle that's a little bit aggressive you want to be careful that uh, you somebody might be holding that angle so you know if you, you want to try to get your smokes out quick it's best to jiggle peek but if you, the shield's still up you could actually use the shield for a little bit of cover on the boar side but then you can also get the smoke over towards statue and then of course get the smoke over towards the master door or bricks but that's pretty much what it is when it comes to playing smoke on this site all right so moving on to kitchen and dining this is just the third site the typical third site that a lot of people play so when it comes to playing smoke on this objective sometimes you might actually have to play mute here but i'm going to show you everything like normal so the first line of sights that you want to make is going to be across this china wall you're going to want to get the left and the right side and typically you want to reinforce the middle wall just to have some sort of cover um you know for those two angles that you want to play but from this position you can have an angle to the dining door towards memo you can also see the laundry door you do want to be careful with the amount of angles that you're exposing yourself to but you could smoke pretty much everything from this spot although it is somewhat unsafe 
you know, even if this wall's up, there's still some angles you gotta worry about. Your, you know, your shoulder might be peeking out to somebody from memo side, but you could smoke everything from this position. You could smoke the laundry door. You could smoke the plant if they do plant behind that couch. You could smoke the breach if they have bonded it open or thermited open, and you can also smoke the dining to memo door. But when it comes to making holes, these are kind of the main holes. Sometimes people like to make rotate holes between memo, and they either put it on the left side or the right side. So it really depends on how your team likes to play that. And then if a team if your team in particular likes to play above, then sometimes you can make some vertical holes um, depending on what sort of hold you guys like to do. Sometimes people like to make holes above this memo wall so that a defender teammate inside of deer can actually play these angles from the top all the way down to memo just in case an attacking team is pushing memo pretty heavily. It is a pretty easy gunfight for your teammates to win at that point. But for the most part, that's pretty much the holes that you make. There's not much else that you do unless, like I said before, you play upstairs and potentially want some hatches open or you want some uh, different rotate holes or lines of sight or your teammates want those rotate holes or lines of sight. But that's pretty much your setup, typically when it comes to putting my shield down. If I'm smoke, it depends on what they do. Sometimes I kind of rotate it around. The entire site is exposed vertically, so if a team does do a vertical take and they start bucking and sledging the entire objective, it is kind of hard to play in the site and it's hard to have a really good shield setup or just a really good position to play. So typically I would just place a shield right here just because I, it gives me some cover whenever somebody's on that laundry door. I could smoke the laundry door from there and then again, I, like I said before, I can quickly rotate to this angle and I could smoke the actual plant which typically it's gonna be in that corner, or unless they plant on the dining table right here next to the bomb chassis. And if that's the case, then you could actually smoke that as well. Um, it's a little bit harder to smoke this in this case because a lot of the time you're gonna have all these different angles being held, but you can try to get a smoke over to the bomb chassis. If you're in kitchen, the bomb chassis is actually gonna be right here where I'm standing. So you could actually just get a smoke onto the actual bomb chassis. And once it sticks to the side, it'll spread to, you know, anybody planning in the middle here. But again, like I said, it's really hard to get smokes off on this site. So a lot of the time you might be playing mute in this case just because mute is really good on this objective. And it's good to just have that wall denial and a nitro in this case, you could actually get a nitro from here behind the shield safely. You can actually nitro over and it'll land somewhere around here and it should spread and kill the person that's planning in this case. And also if they are planning on the dining table, you just need to try to get to an angle where you can get a nitro off to you know where the bomb chassis is and just hit the side of the bomb chassis and it should spread to that point. So when it comes to playing smoke or mute, this is pretty much how you play it on this objective for the most part. Anyways, guys, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button for future videos. We have videos coming out three times a week at the moment. So if you guys enjoy this content or have any other tips or topics you'd like to see me go over in a future video, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys want to pick the next map, um, just leave a comment down below and I'll look through them and potentially have the next map for this series picked from the comment section of the current video. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video again. Like I said, that is all for me. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.